Welcome to this new series on the Hidden Structures channel. Here you will learn how to reveal hidden structures in any random packet of playing cards. Okay, I have here a deck of cards and we're going to work with 12 cards in this particular video. It's just a good number of cards to work with. So if you were here, I'd have you shuffle the cards to your heart's content, okay? Now, since you're not here, I'll go ahead and give it a couple of shuffles. And then we will be selecting 12 cards from random places in the deck. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 11, 12. There we go. We have 12 random cards. In fact, let's just give these a further mix, okay? And I wish you could get in here and help me mix these. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the cards uh, primarily to convince you that these are in no particular order. These are just random cards from a shuffle deck. Okay, so take a look at these cards here. Uh, can you see all of them just fine? I guess we should double check that we actually have 12. Okay, so does that look okay to you? Okay, well, very good. So what we're going to do now is, uh, since we both saw the cards, uh, let's go ahead and just begin to randomize the cards further, okay? Um, should I stack left on right or right on, you want left on right? Okay, very good. Um, if you were here, I'd have you uh, randomly cut the packet wherever you would like. Uh, we can also do something called a Chardelier Shuffle. Uh, this scrambles the cards really well. It's, it's uh, similar to a packet cut, but you just do it a number of times so that, oh boy, no one could possibly know the order of the cards now. Um, and then we're going to follow that up with something called a Klondike Shuffle. And this is a really fun shuffle to perform. This is where you take the bottom and top card off as one. Top and bottom off as one until all of the cards have been set on the table. Very good, okay? Um, now, uh, we're going to mix the cards as much as you would like. In fact, we can deal out into two piles, or three piles, or four piles. Um, I'm trying to keep the dealing down so that you don't fall asleep. Which of those should we do next? You want me to deal out into three piles, okay? I'll go ahead and do that into three piles. Now, would you like me to stack from left to right or right to left? From left to right. Okay, that's very good. Would you like me to deal out into four piles? Just to really mix these, you would. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, we'll try not to make too big of a mess here. Would you like me to stack from left to right to left this time? Are you sure? Okay, very good. Right to left this time. Okay, would you like to do any more of those? Yes, you would. Okay, into two piles. Okay, uh, this time what would you like? Stacking left on right or right on left? Left on right, okay. Uh, we can also do something called an up jog. It's kind of a fun one to learn. Uh, would you like to do an even or odd up jog? Even, okay. Well, what that means is you push forward, you jog up, the even position cards. Okay, just like this. Okay, very good. And then you just strip those out. Um, how would you like these stacked? Left on right? Okay, very, very good. Okay, do you feel like the cards are sufficiently mixed? You do, okay, very good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to Klondike pairs of cards to the table. Just like that. In fact, we'll make a little hexagon here if the cards would stop sticking on me. Okay, there we go. A little hexagon, is that kind of fun? Okay, and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, uh, using the uh, cards that we discarded, um, I'm going to choose uh, one of these cards, okay? Now, I won't tell you what I'm choosing quite yet, but you'll find out in just a moment. So I'm going to go off camera just for a second to choose a card, and I'm going to place it right there in the middle. Let me just clean up our mess here, by the way. I, I'm a little bit OCD about um, organization here. Okay, so I've... Uh, selected a card from the remaining cards and its identity is is not known to you 
Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to see how many color pairs we have in these six piles here. Okay, so how many of these are of the same color? Well, how could anyone know that? Think about the mixing that we've done. We started with 12 random cards. I did an, what's called an LR shuffle, and then we cut the cards and did a Charlier, and then a Klondike, and then I think we dealt out into three piles, then four piles, and then into two piles. Then I Klondike pairs to the table, creating this fun hexagon shape. Okay, so uh, let's see how many of these are of the same. Oh, there you go. Uh, those are both black. Okay, that's not a, a matching color pair. Uh, that's a no match there. Uh, no match for that one. Um, just slide it this way. Uh, no match there. Uh, just out of interest, uh, what did I think the number of matching pairs would come out to be? Well, let's reveal here for the first time the identity of the card that I set down. Well, I predicted that we would have exactly two matching color pairs. Well, we have one <laughs> so far. <laughs> so this one better be, for my prediction to be true, it better be a matching color pair, and I believe it is. And in fact, I believe it's a red matching pair. It is indeed. So let's talk about uh, how this is done. And you could do this right away if you just kind of follow the steps and perform the shuffles that I performed. Uh, this will work for you every time. Um, I do want to point out that the 12 cards were indeed randomly selected. There was nothing special about the cards except the fact that we had 12 of them. <laughs> 